week, let's drop in on painter David Reed, who lives here in Australia, but finds his inspiration in the sparkling cityscapes of Shanghai. Well, my passion for um, art started in the last couple of years of high school, where I had a, was fortunate to have a very good Australian artist as an art teacher. And he was also very interested in Chinese and Japanese and Oriental art. And that's what I, I read for school in the last two years was a fabulous book on, on Chinese art. And that was the beginning of it. And that was where I started to look at the Chinese um, landscape painting. The lovely thing about ink painting is that it's, it's brain and hand, but it's also the heart. And you get all of that in that kind of move, movement or, or across the paper. And the ink picks up all the nuances of, of the, the grain of the paper, the, the lines of the grass, because I use grass paper and I use mulberry paper and I use rice paper. But each one's got a different characteristic. And so it picks up all the nuances of that line. And I've always been interested in the line expressing um, a sense of humanity and a sense of trying to describe something. In the early days, he used to bring up his well-known rolls of works on paper and roll them out on the table and I'd have a look. And about five or six years ago that we started showing David's work and you can see similarities in the work at the time to now, but his work has really evolved. So in the last five years, having gone to Shanghai, I look at the landscape, but I also abstract it and move it around and push it to what I want it to, to do. And I think with the kind of paper as well, which has got its own ambiguities and its own, you know, it's a water-based medium. So the water flows where, you, where it, it flows, it wants to flow. So you kind of follow it. So I think that's kind of an interesting roundabout way of getting to the stage where, you, where you, you can paint the landscape, but you can also think it as well. When I first went to Shanghai, the Bund is, is obviously the most famous part of, of, of Shanghai. And I was intrigued by seeing the boats going up and down the, the river, this continual kind of stream of boats. But also that it was the best of 19th and early 20th century architecture. And I started looking at that, and that's like classical architecture in this way, in as much as that it's circles and squares and triangles. And I was looking at that and seeing Chinese characters. So it gave me another idea which was to start looking at the landscape in that way. And this painting here of the, the bamboo scaffolding, I now go there and I pick out and see bits of the Chinese written language in the bamboo scaffolding. And that's been kind of like an inspiration and I really enjoy doing that. And I have done other paintings where I look at the formwork of new buildings and also see, you know, Chinese writing. Well, this is, this is like, I've always, always looked at Chinese calligraphy and I've adapted it and made it a little bit more figurative and a bit more about China street life. And I, things that I love about it is the comic nature. And it's only two blokes together on a bicycle carrying a ladder. And it's, it's not only China, it's like every man in the world thinks, okay, we've got bikes, we've got a ladder, we can get on the bikes and we can carry the ladder. And it's just incredibly comic because people fall into things and people fall in the way. And also in China, there's, there's everyone carries their, pushes their, their grandma down the street, on the middle of the street, not on the footpath, uh, because that's where you push granny, on the, on the street. So there's those kind of bits. And there's bits of people carrying stuff. And I identify with people carrying stuff because I've been that bloke carrying a piece of wood from Bunnings and wanting to make the stretcher. So I like that kind of, seeing everyone out there doing the kind of things that they do. Purely Western abstract, but in fact it is the influences of the Asian and the materials being used. Different papers, handmade, beautiful uh, textured papers and inks, 
he took his new materials and his new influences from the Shanghai uh, community and he reinterpreted them from a Western perspective. And uh, uh, this is a, a very uh, fine example of that and it actually bridges both cultures very successfully. Every time there's a, a trip to Shanghai and a stay there and new people, new artists that he meets and the familiarity with the culture and the surroundings, he comes back inspired and has taken it another level. Well, I think it's got freer and it's got looser and it's got much more about the hand, the eye and the heart, if you know what I mean. It's, it's a little bit more um, confident and I think that's what older artists bring to things is it because it's a confidence, it's uh, a maturity, but it's also the first idea is not necessarily the best, but it's had the benefit of many, many years of looking and thinking and then being able to do it with confidence.